We mentioned the Cavs have been ravaged by injuries. They lost the fro. They lost Allen. They also lost the good rookie Mobley. So they've been hurting with, on the interior these days. Jared Allen, an all-star this season, missing his 13th consecutive game. Mobley, a rookie of the year candidate, his third straight. Barrett off the mark. Yeah, Allen was averaging 16 and 10, Mobley 15 and 8. Not counting their intensity on the defense. Levert with the scoop, rebounded by R.J. Barrett. A march to remember, Kenny. This kid, Barrett, also averaged 25 a game in March. Coming into this game, Barrett tied with Julius Randle for the Nick lead. 21 per game. Robinson with the rejection. Barrett hit the floor. Contact, no foul. Levert, the old foot trick. Great hustle by Fournier. Here's Barrett. Ah! Robin on Okoro commits the foul. Off the good defensive pressure from Sims, and now it's Barrett at the other end. Short on the layup attempt. Gone the distance here in the first quarter. Knicks with only nine players available this afternoon. Levert shaking. And he backs it in. <laughs> Remembering the advice from Coach K, keep on shooting. Yep, both teams thrive and in the paint now. Here's Love from three. Uh, Love, mentioned averaging 13 and seven. You now, speaking of the Final Four, Clyde and Hubert Davis coaching the North Carolina Tar Heels, Ryan Archie Diacono on the floor for the Knicks. His brother plays for Villanova. He's a junior. Villanova back in the finals again. And Ryan was the most outstanding player of the Final Four for Villanova back in 2016. The Cavaliers lead by two, just under six minutes remaining. Second quarter. From three, it's Levert. Their first winning record, Clyde, without LeBron James since 1998. You have to go all the way back 24 years. Last winning record without LeBron. Under five remaining, second quarter. From Madison Square Garden. Here's Levert from three. Three-point Cleveland lead. Big defense doing a good job now. Garland straight away three. Nakano was looking down. Garland was looking at the hoop. It's his third three of the corner climb. Yeah, starting to erupt now. Levert. That's his third three. Garland. Back across to Levert from three, oh, short. Almost an air ball grazing the rim. Barry mentioned a quiet first, first half for him. Oh. Blocked by Love. Three calves and double figures. Look at Barry denying Levert, but he's open now. Quarter three, Stevens knocks it down. Pass working around. They're overpassing. Pass turning down shots. There's Levert with three on the shot clock. Rebounded by Fournier. Third quarter just underway at Madison Square Garden. Levert wide open underneath. Yeah, Barrett the culprit. That happens when you don't see the ball and see your man at the same time. There's marketing looking to get it away. Oh, he set right in front of the Nick Bill. That was the first field goal attempt for Market and Clyde. He's played 15 minutes. His Fournier found a seam, and he was fouled. Barrett and top at 11 points apiece. Five-point Cavaliers lead. Levert becoming more active now. Oh, good hustle by Barrett. So the Knicks forced the turnover, and now Toppin takes it inside. Oh. And can't finish. Thought it was foul. Yep, and look how much time's remaining. Here's Levert, rebounded by Barrett, and then he had it stripped, and then Brown rejected by Robinson. Yeah. Yep, and look how much time's remaining. Here's Levert, rebounded by Barrett, and then he had it stripped, and then Brown rejected by Robinson. Yeah. Garland, the mice throw. Another oh. block by Robinson. <laughs> Can Barrett finish this time? Yeah, he gets the foul call. Garland looking to take him one on one. Jericho Sims back in for the next. Here's Okoro from three. 
three, and now the three balls, so five consecutive points for him. And now Fournier had it stripped. Here comes Levert. Sims hustling back. Brown slams it down. And Levert pulls it back out. He's over his average of 17. Here's Garland. Levert from three. Oh. Up the live by Levert. Here's Garland. Levert from three. Oh. Up the live by Levert. It was strange, and I wasn't sure how the crowd would react for me, but uh, I was very proud. They gave him a standing ovation. Really appreciate what I've done for the Knicks. Obviously, my teammates were looking for me, letting me do more in that game. Just to, to stick it back to the Knicks. And obviously, my teammates were looking for me, letting me do more in that game. Just to, to stick it back to the Knicks.